Near to where the line from the big engine shed joins the main line, there are some special points. They are called trap points. And the rails don't go anywhere, but are just long enough to derail anything running away and prevent it from colliding with engines on the main line. They are worked by a very powerful spring, but can be controlled from the signal box when the engines need to join the main line on purpose. Henry could never understand why they were there. Useless things, he grumbled. They can take them away as soon as they like. Run away indeed. Why should we want to run away from our nice warm shed? Tell me that. Neither Gordon nor James could, so they didn't bother to try. One night, Henry was alone in the shed. This was unusual. But Gordon was not due back until early in the morning, and James had been delayed by the other railway. Oliver, Donald and Douglas, along with Duck, were all busy at the other end of Duck and Oliver's branch line. It was a cold night, and Henry felt lonely. He was glad when the firelighter came earlier than usual. Gratefully, Henry felt warmth spread through his boiler. He was drowsy and comfortable. Running away, he thought to himself as he dozed. Who'd be daft enough to do that on a cold morning like this? Suddenly, he awoke. Someone was climbing the steps to his cab. It was the firelighter who thought it would be fun, while no one was about, to drive an engine. He unwound the brake and moved the regulator, but nothing happened. Disappointed, the firelighter went away, without closing the regulator. Henry dozed again. When he next awoke, he could see that it was just getting light outside. Then he realised what had woken him. Steam was trickling into his cylinders. It's too early, he thought. Driver can't be here yet. Henry felt himself moving. He tried to stop, but he couldn't without his driver and fireman. He tried to whistle. He couldn't do that either. It was cold and frosty outside. Help, thought Henry as he rumbled along. I don't like this. But there was nothing he could do about it. Then he remembered the main line. Horrors, he thought. I hope nothing's coming. A green signal light and the sound of an engine approaching told him that something was coming. thought Henry again. He shut his eyes and waited for the crash. Just then, his front wheels slid to one side. Soon, his driving wheels left the rails too, and Henry stopped, leaning a little to one side. He was just a few inches clear of Gordon's coaches, as, with a whistle, a rattle and a roar, the big blue engine thundered by. Phew! That was a near miss, hissed Henry, as men shouted and began to run towards him. Thank you, Trap Points. You can stay there just as long as you like. <laughs>